And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds, fighting out of Kinshasa, Congo, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. Ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper when you're a striker. At this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gun. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early goals. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy, doing great work. Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Oh, yeah, right hand. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. That is how you scramble, folks. Oh, big punch land. <laughs> Unable to connect with the right. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Nice kick there by Choi. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time. So at that was the right time. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Those jabs are landing now. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh, elbow to the head right out of the clinch. Good work there by Choi. Just a slip there. Oh, 
Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's doing that jab. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And they separate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and he gets the takedown. Useful. Choi's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Lands with a right hand. Less than a minute to go in the round. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Closed guard. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, he's up. But he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Beautiful punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. The horn sounds for the end of round one. More than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Straight punch lands. And mixing it up beautifully. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal. Got the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, Superman punch! Uppercut attempt, does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Chor. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. You just need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Joy gets touched by that kick there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. They continue to exchange. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. That's a big strike right there. Oh, you see him land. He landed it perfectly. 
placement. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. that takedown attempt without issue. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Ooh, what a punch. And they separate. Slips the punch nicely there. A little single collar tie there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much more. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Punch is blocked. And there's a takedown attempt. And he lands the knee to the body now. Nice punch lands over the top. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Nice head kick. Shoy's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Way to hide that leg kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Try to establish that jab. Oh, collar tie. 20 seconds left. Again, they will clinch. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And that's the end of round number two. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at any You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there. What? I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Punch coming, it's blocked. Out of range with that kick attempt. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown. Scramble to his feet. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Shore. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attack. Oh, 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 oh. Straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Now oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Working off of his back. 
back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. And this dude's casting chips. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice strike landed there by Chor. Still nice body kick land. And now they are throwing. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Just misses there with the left. He is throwing his entire chip into these body shots. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Huge oh, right hand! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear them, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. And really starting to make these shots count. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Continuing to work out of the half guard. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, single collar tie now. Punch over the top. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, tags him with the overhand. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Boy, oh! He's out! He got him! Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here today. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 43 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win.